Hi there, I'm Buddha, and you're watching Dr. Guitar, a show for all you guitarists out there. In today's episode, I'm showing you the difference power tubes make on an amp. First of all, let me thank my dear patrons for supporting the show. You guys are just incredible. You're always in my heart. Thank you so much for your continuous support. And if you want to become a patron yourself, just go to the link. You'll be getting early access to episodes, free video lessons every week, a free backing track every month, and a lot of goodies that I'm throwing in occasionally. And of course, my huge thank you. Let's go. So for those of you who don't know, an amp is made out of power tubes and preamp tubes, or valves as they say. Power tubes are the ones that give you the power, of course, so the, the rating, the wattage, like a 22 watt amp, or a 15 watt amp, or a 12 watt amp, or a 100 watt amp, it's th that power comes from the power tubes, the big tubes inside. The preamp tubes are the ones used for reverb, for raising your guitar volume up, for EQ, and usually that's that. Some amps, like my Mesa Boogies, have a tube effect loop, but that's a different thing. So, in this episode, we're discussing the importance of power tubes, and mainly there are four types of tubes. There's more, but this is the, the usual common. For the American style amp, we have the 6L6, that's the broader tube uh, that is present in, uh, for example, in a super reverb, in a twin reverb, uh, on every Fender amp, on a lot of Mesa Boogie amps. It's a very round, bassy, but sparkly tube, so it's a very Fendery tube in, to my ear. Then on the British side, you have the EL, the 84, which is Vox AC30, Vox AC50, FC15, so the EL84 is usually lower power amps, 15 to 30. If you have a duet of EL84s, you will have 15 watts, around 15 watts. If you have a quartet, you will have around 30 watts. That's, to me, very voxy sounding, but it's also orange uses it. The Blues Junior by Fender uses EL84. That's why I really like the Blues Junior. The Pro Junior, this one, also uses two EL84s. This Marshall 2061 uses EL84s. So it has a really spongy character, a little more mid-range, a little more breakup um, to the tube. The 6L6 can be used in duo or quartet. So usually two 6L6s make a 50 watt amp, four 6L6s make a 100 amp, 100 watt amp. But for example, a twin reverb is 85 watts and it has four 6L6s. So it is not linear, but it is, it is that shape. And then you have the EL34, the other side of British music, of British sound. Marshall is EL34 normally, because it's a power tube, mid-rangey, aggressive, not a lot of bass, a lot of presence, a lot of punch, the Marshall sound. The other tube I left out on purpose is the 6V6. It's the other American tube famously used on the Deluxe Reverb. So it has a character to me in between a 6L6 and a Neil 84. So it's a little more spongy, a little more... If you push it hard, it will compress and overdrive way more than the 6L6, the 6L6 is way tighter, but it, it, it's not as mid-rangey as the 6L6, so it's in between EL84 and 6L6. And I just got a brand new old amp, a Mesa Boogie Dual Rectifier Blue Angel. It's basically, to me, it's basically a Fender with some tweaks. You have the bright switch and the fat switch, but you can only have one or the other, so it's not like you don't have a normal switch, a normal setting. You either have a fat or a bright switch. Bass, treble, mid, simple, volume and reverb, nothing else. But we have a great addition, double powered amp. Two 6V6s as one power amp stage, or four EL84s as another preamp stage, 
or as Meza Boogie does, both combined. So let me show you, this is not a, a review of the amp, let me just show you the impact the power section has on the sound of the amp. Everything is the same, guitar is the same, every setting on the amp is the same, I'll only be changing the power section. Using my next chop tank as usual, this is my favorite guitar of all times. Lindy Fraylin pickups, lava coily cable, because I always use the lava coil cable with single coil guitars. I'm using the amp on the FET setting, 66s. So I think the biggest difference we can hear immediately is the volume. Of course, two 6v6s will give us 22 watts, four ELED4s will give us close to 30. So there's a jump in volume, but there's a huge difference in, difference in character. The ELED4s are way more mid-rangey, way more push forward, and they sound a lot more to my ears, a lot more spongier, a, a lot less high speaky. So if I want a clean, clean, clean sound, like a Fendry sound, I would use the 6v6s.
Let's drive it a little, push it. together. Lady Force. you think I hear a huge difference but mainly I feel a huge difference it's very different to play with the 636 feel and play with the EL84 feel that's why I got this amp well first because I'm a fan of Mesa Boogie and everything Mesa Boogie does they do really well they're genius on doing that I was a Mesa Boogie in Dorsey I'm not anymore but I still love what they do it's it's an incredible brand and they have my loyalty forever because they do it really well but the main thing about this episode is to show you the difference a tube in the power section makes so when you're thinking about getting an amp think of the feel you want for of that amp a 6l6 is a very punchy almost not distorted tube so if you want clean headroom that will give you clean headroom. For example, the Royal Atlantic has 6L6 tubes in it, what makes it a little more, uh, a little less mid-rangey, and you get the punch of the 6L6, then you get all the distortion from the preamp section. If you want an amp that drives a little, the EL84 is my favorite, until this day. I love what Vox amps do, I love what the Pro Junior does, the, the Blues Junior, that drive in the power section is incredible. I actually even bought my Lone Star when I bought it. I ordered for the, the not the classic, I ordered for the Lone Star Special because it has EL84s and that makes a huge difference in the tube section. Tube Amp Doctor makes an adapter that you can switch 6L6 amps and you can put it in the same place as a 6L6 but using a EL84 that changes the character of the amp for the price of a quartet or a duo of tubes so it's a great option hope you like it enjoy it and as always we'll see each other next week bye bye thank you for your support thanks for watching